Tick and cocaine worth billions found in consignments of apples, pears, and oranges exported from South Africa to India. <laughs> to India? All right. So apparently an apple a day keeps the probation officer away. <laughs> um... Imagine, you know what I'm seeing with this? Imagine just like biting on an apple and there's cocaine and just go. <laughs> <laughs> this apple <laughs> On the other hand, Oberkin, you you forgot to factor in one thing. We can all yeah. admit that Generation Z is extremely stupid. So you're gonna have some kid two o'clock in the morning trying to sniff an apple through a rolled up ten rand note. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> First you make the money, then you make the apple juice. <laughs> Come on now, guys. How else are tickheads supposed to get their nine vitamins? And minerals? <laughs> nine vitamins. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, you know uh, what this behavior is actually on on something because you know most junkies don't really get their minerals in. So what do you do? Put the minerals in the, in, the, in the things that they like. If you put drugs yes. in apple, an apple, you're gonna get a lot of healthy junkies. Yes, yeah, like <laughs> I don't think that's possible. 